Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm getting ready to show you how to make a bushcraft meal in the bush. Well, it's going to be the kitchen, but you get the point. Alright, don't forget to go over there by Manlands. I have did a live cookie show by him. So, uh, I'm trying to remember to put the link below. So, go check out Manlands. Video was two, should be about three videos. Go check them out. It's me cooking over there by Manlands. And right now, I'm going to show you how to prepare a kind of like a bushcraft fresh meal when you go out in, uh, in the woods. Alright, I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today we're going to show you how to prep. A small meal for you going out for bushcrafting. For example, everybody loves ramen noodles. So we're going to get a ramen noodle out. And we're going to get everything ready for a bushcraft meal. So when you go out in the bush, you have a meal ready to go. Let's get going. Alright, everybody carries a ramen noodles. So we're going to put that in your bag. You put that in your bushcraft bag. And now we're going to set up the second. We're going to set up the second thing that you're going to do and prepare for your bushcraft meal. We're going to make two. Alright, first you get the chicken you like. I like the thighs, pre-bone chicken. You can get the cheaper type with the bonus chicken. I mean, the uh, one with the bone and just cut the bone out. Rinse off your chicken. Now I'm doing two of them because we're doing a test. Alright, after you rinse off your chicken off the blood, come over here and watch me. Watch what I'm doing. Alright. Alright, after you get your chicken uh, done, get two Ziploc bags. Now, get your season that you love to put in there. So I got some bell pepper, uh, dried bell pepper. I have some uh, Italian season and some garlic powder. Now you can add salt and pepper, whatever season you want. This is what you want to put in your bag. If you like ground cinnamon, put ground cinnamon in it. All right, first what you want to do, make sure all your containers are open for your deluxe. All right. This is open. And we're going to get uh, the Italian season open. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay. And make sure the seal's good. We're going to open that. Now. Get all your seasons open. For what you want. If you don't like salt, don't put a lot of salt. If you like pepper, whatever season you want. Take your bag, open it up nice and big. Throw the season in you want. You can throw your chicken in anytime you want. Throw your... Yeah, good. Throw all your seasons in. A little bit of salt. A little pepper. And what you want to do... What you want to do now is take your bag, take your bag and fill it with water. Now this is going to be, and make sure your bag doesn't have a hole in it. You can put at least a cup of water in there because you're going to, what you're going to do is seal that up. You can stir it up so it marinates and put that in your freezer. Okay, now go ahead and do our second one. Come over here. And we'll do our second one for our bushcraft. Three season that you like. Whatever season you like, just throw it in the bag. Some pepper. Ooh, it's too much. Some salt, not too much salt, just enough for yourself. Then again, that depends on the person. You wash, take, uh, take your wash of meat. I want a little bit more garlic powder in this one. 
and add water to it once again. And I'm going to show you how to use these babies after uh, we're going to do a little cooking show. Now, place that in your Ziploc bag, about a cup of water, so this won't freeze a bird. It won't freeze a bird because you got water. Plus, you're going to use the water that you freeze for your bushcraft water. So you don't have to bring water when you go out. All right. Now, I'll show you how to cook it. Come on. Let's start cooking this. So, now you're out in the woods, you're ready to eat. You're ready to eat that, the frozen meal that you have prepared for your bushcraft meal. So what you want to do is get your, your Stanley pot or whatever pot you use. You wash your, all right, it's going to be in a bag. So we're going to have water already in there. Now this meal takes about 20 minutes to cook. So if you got a lot of fuel or you're cooking on the fire, it'd be perfect. But your season in, that's what's in your bag. It's gonna be all these seasons. A little pepper, a little salt, just like the bag. A little garlic pepper, I mean garlic powder. Now we have all our seasons that we like, or whatever you like, in that bag, that Ziploc bag. So now you defrost that bag in the Ziploc bag, and just leave it to frost. After this frost, throw it in your pot and turn on the fire, or over the fire, or if you have a coping stove, or whatever jet fuel, jet stove, cook it. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes when this sucker starts boiling and I'll show you what to do with your ramen noodles. And, this recipe calls for the, that, remember when we put this in our bag? It also calls for this. Break it up. You don't have to put it in there now, but if you do want, you can put it in there and let it boil. But remember, you won't be cooking this for 20 minutes because you got to cook the, the chicken. Unless you pre-cook it or cook it halfway, then finish cooking it out in the bush. It shouldn't hurt. So we're going to do that too. We're going to pre-cook one and put it in the freezer and see what happens. Keep the Roman noodles on the side. When this comes to a bowl, count 20 minutes. Put a timer on. If you Some people bring a, a clock with y'all until the meat's done or to the meat's done. But it takes about 20 minutes. All right, see you in a few minutes. In 20 minutes. All right, I'll want to start the bowl. So I start my timer now for 20 minutes. When this thing bake, uh, I go ding. Now, if you're going to pre cook it for a few minutes, just to get it where you don't have to cook so much fuel on your tank or your gas, you pre cook it. If you're using a campfire, just bring the whole frozen thing out there. Now within 20 minutes, this should be, uh, you might have to add more water to it because it's going to boil away. Well, it depends on how hot your fire is and how quick you, you boil in your water and how many minutes. So you do is take your knife and test to see if it's cooked all the way through because you don't want to eat raw chicken or any pheasant or fowl raw. So we're going to let this cook now and it's going to be 20 minutes before it stops. We might have to add more water, make it come to a bowl again. So, we got to put our ramen noodles in it. All right, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, my chicken. All right, all right, my chicken is almost done. I'm going to do a test to make sure it's all cooked inside. So my chicken is done completely. So what I'm gonna do is take my ramen noodles, and place it in my pot right now while it's still boiling. Oh no, I dropped the package. 
stuff. Now, some of y'all don't eat the packet thing, and some of y'all do. But if you do, if you want, you can add that into your mix. Just add that to your mix. That give it more flavor. A little stir. Now, that's all we have to do is wait for the uh, chi uh, the the ramen noodles to cook, and we're ready to eat. one I got two everybody has one of these babies so we're going to use this for our meal after the noodles is complete you can also cut pre-cut your chicken before you put it in the freezer that's what I should have done I forgot to pre-cut so it'd be easy to eat remember you're a bushcrafter. You should be able to improvise. All right, now, take a look at that. All right, now, we're going to put it in the pot. Yeah, I'm gonna take the, the chicken out of the freezer and pre cut it real quick before it freezes. And that is it. Now we have we have a guinea pig. He just walked in the building. Let's turn on the light so y'all can see the guinea pig. Alright, who is that? I got a guinea pig. This is called a bush calf meal. All right, let's see what he did, what he says. It's hot now. Don't burn yourself. It do look like it's hot. Well, you take a bite, sir. Cut it the chicken and, and, and now I'm gonna freeze it. Alright, you heard it from Man Land. And uh, let everybody remind everybody that the cooking show we have done on your channel. Go check it out. Oh, yes. It is seafood a ragu live stream. All cooked by Ranger Cookie. And make sure that you check that out and also make sure you check out the aftermath video in hd so you can actually see the meal the way it was intended to be seen apologize for that uh very poor video quality of the live stream there all right i'm ranger cookie and this is amateur artist mark d chandler from manland well give, before you leave give a piece to your wife Oh, oh yeah. come on, she's half naked over there. <laughs> huh? She is. I like it. <laughs> I am not. Well, get you a piece of that stew, uh, I mean, uh, 
The bushcraft meal. The bushcraft woman meal. I'll be cleaning. Show them again what that looks like. Let's get up there where they can see it mighty good. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's got a real good flavor. You know what I'm thinking? That daggum Zatarain dehydrated peppers. That put the right amount of magnificent goodness on it. Mm. Come here, bitch. I've been cleaning. I know. All right, we're going, we're going to have a second uh, guinea pig to take a bite of the, uh, the bushcraft meal. And I left two in Mr. Manland's um, freezer so he can do a test tomorrow when it's frozen or whenever he has a chance to do the bushcraft meal. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is... Me, Mark, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland. See you next video. All right, what I'm gonna do is pre-cook a meal and put it, let it cool off and put it in the freezer and Manland's gonna give it a couple of approvals. So go over there and check him out. When he gets that video up, he'll let me know by coming over to me and post the link of down on this video about the chicken, uh, the bushcraft meal. So I'll go ahead and cook a meal real quick cool it off, put it in a Ziploc bag, and uh, see what happens. He has two in the freezer now. They're getting frozen. So he, he can just take it out and put it in this pot and cook. But when we pre-cook a meal, that's all he has to do is take it out and put it in this pot and cook it, or get the water hot. And don't cook it all the way, cook half of the way. That way it only takes about a couple more minutes to, pre to finish cooking the, video, uh, the meal. Hi, I'm Ranger Cookie, and when Marilyn uh, tries this video, uh, tries this frozen, half frozen, half cook, and finish it up, and he's gonna let me know with the link below. All right, Ranger Cookie, see you next video.